geboorte heel me. Geboorte purifies me. When the penny dropped, that if I if I daily immerse myself with nature and not spin, 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 spin a bit of nature and a spin, spin, spin a bit of nature, but daily incorporate it, my my burnout or my spin is less, and I'd almost need less nature. My name is Gita Amber Carroll and I'm the founder of The Good Machine. <laughs> One of the element of especially free diving is that it's quite pure and it brings you back to basic. So it's just about calming down, doing the breath work and being present and going slowly. So if you go slowly, you do more. We think if we go fast, we're going to do everything. But if you actually go slowly, you see the three pajama sharks. If we went fast because I was swimming lengths to win or train for my um, Robin Island swim, and I wouldn't have seen the three pajama sharks. I wouldn't have seen the stingray or seen the magical pink and yellow colors of the sea anemones and the nudibranchs on the, on the beautiful wall on the rock. So, and free diving, I mean, it kind of checks and balances me. It brings me back and earths me and grounds me 100%. So the Good Machine is a social impact agency where we work with non-profits as well as businesses where we aim to set up ethical and sustainable practices. We try and have an ecosystem of clients at all times. So we try and have women empowerment organizations and children, literacy, trauma, ocean conservation and, and land conservation because everything is intellect. So even though the animals in the ocean need saving and the rhinos need saving, it needs saving because of the human's influence. So the intervention programs that need to be developed needs to be environmental education or just general education and literacy programs so that people understand why something does not need to be harmed or protected. So today is awesome because uh, the incredible Nick Lamini is in town. Quote me, and he will say, not quote me, but watch him in the Tour de France in a, in a few years. And he will tell you the story of how, if he didn't engage with an incredible Euro trail runner and was guided by a leader and a sports leader, that he wouldn't have focused on one sport. He would have kept on dabbling. And then he honed in on cycling, and cycling has absolutely shown him, shown him the world. We all know the power that a sports person can hold in communities, in daily life, and all from corporate boardrooms to the grassroots playing field. So there is something in advocacy and leadership that sport holds. Just sports as an activity is one of the most powerful interventions because it's a language that everyone can understand. Every, every example is different and um, you will see this afternoon when we go into Mass Pumalela. That is an example of an incredible philanthropist that has significantly lobbied and fundraised for the infrastructure to be built in Mass Pumalela. And you'll see the work in Mass Pumalela where it's the school, it's the non-profits, it's the supporting non-profits as well as various individuals that kind of collectively come together for the betterment of the education of the children in Mass Pumalela. If your basic, basic needs are not fulfilled, why would you why would you protect anything? So it comes down to you protect what you love. And so it's important to show people that they fall in love with the ocean, they fall in love with one another. I get meaning through finding people meaning. <laughs>